Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will talk about Password Recovery API. Password Recovery is one of the functions of a user management system. It provides the, an ability for your users to request uh, a password reset. And uh, uh, Backhandless provides a, a fantastic solution that is very flexible and customizable uh, in order to enable the workflow of password recovery. The concept is very simple, and I'm sure you've 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 seen it run into it multiple times. There are different ways to do this, and uh, the the system that we provide is flexible enough to support different ways to do password recovery. Uh, the workflow typically starts uh, with a user, you know, facing the login screen, and they don't remember the password. And this really applies to uh, the authentication uh, methods where password is required, uh, which would not be the case, let's say, if you do phone-based authentication. But in case if you do provide password-based authentication on the login screen, quite often uh, you would see a forgot password link or re restore password, uh, whatever the language is, the, the concept is still the same. And uh, in there, you would be entering your identities, uh, for instance, an email address, and uh, say, okay, restore password, and the email is sent to the user if the identity is found. And uh, that email would contain either a new password or it can contain a link back into the application, uh, either in the web uh, format, it would be a page on, the, on your site, or it could be a page within the app doesn't really matter it really depends how you would want to set it up and then on that screen they would provide the new password update uh, the system would update the account and now they can log in with a refreshed password so this is the use case that i will be focusing on and uh, i will demonstrate two different ways one where user gets the actual link that they can click to uh, see uh, to update the password and the second uh, approach would be where the system generates the password and uh, delivers it to the user whatever which one you use is completely up to you so, and uh, it all starts with a uh, configuration of the actual email so what, what's going to happen is when the when you use the api it triggers that email to be sent to the user uh, the email in backendless uh, is configured on the messaging screen so if you go into messaging and then select emails in here, there will be two temp templates that are related to password recovery. Uh, one of them is user requests password recovery, and the other one is user requests password recovery by link. These two are mutually exclusive. You can uh, One of them would always be enabled and the other one is disabled. Where you see the red envelope, that means this one is disabled, and that's how uh, it is in a backendless application out of the box. Uh, if you select the disabled one, you will see that there is a checkbox that says do not send email for this event. And then for the other one, there is no checkbox. So this is the one that is enabled by default. And you can flip which one is active just by using this checkbox. So this is the text of the email template. It is uh, uh, completely customizable. Backendless supports rich uh, HTML emails if you just want to completely customize the look and f look and feel of your email go into view source code and here you can just copy and paste the H HTML email markup uh, to to give it a completely different uh, look and feel or you can just modify the text here and in the in in this text uh, whether it's plain text or HTML uh, you can use substitution variables they are listed down below in the default text there is a substitution variable for the application name so you see this app underscore name in the curly brackets uh, and this change link this one is a, a hyperlink that is uh, included in the email and that's what the user will be clicking to open up a page where they can change the password so and the question is how do you trigger that email to go out and i will demonstrate it with ui builder but it, the API will work exactly the same in all our SDKs, even if you are not using UI Builder. So for this, let's switch to the front end section. Uh, this is uh, a login page that was created from a template uh, in, the, in one of the previous videos where I was talking about basic login, we created this one. There is this forgot password link uh, by default that 
link doesn't do anything you would need to wire it up to a page that is responsible for the forgot password or you can customize this one where forgot password would basically send out the email whenever username is filled out but uh, let's actually create a separate page that would be focusing specifically on the forgot password functionality and for this let's create a new page and uh, let's call it password recovery notice that one of the templates that we have in our marketplace is password recovery screen so let's use this one because it already has this functionality out of the box and it just makes it so much easier to demonstrate it and start using it so in here this is where the user would be typing in their email address and by clicking restore password uh, an email will go out the question uh, well first of all let's take a look at the actual implementation in this restore password button so let's go into the logic and in here you will see this logic so recover user password blog is the one that triggers the sequence when an email goes out to the user this blog is located in the users api section and you will see recover user password this is the blog right here this guy that is used on this form so notice the argument is user identity it is not email it is user identity which means that if in your application the identity column is not email but say it is uh, some id or phone number or name or whatever it is it is still okay and it will work as long as there is a column that is named email in the user's table so here for the user identity it is not required to provide the email address it needs to be the identity of the actual user but an email column with a value for the email address with the email address needs to be present for that user otherwise an email will not go out in fact if you don't have a column named email and you try to do password recovery there will be an error coming back from the server saying that there is no email column and that is required for this flow to work so here for the user identity in this specific page we are referring to the email address because that's the most commonly used setup people log in and use email as their identity and in this uh, this is exactly how i have it set up in my users table so you see email is the identity this light blue background and i will be uh, doing password recovery for my uh, user record right here so here back to password recovery if i run this page and i type in my email address and i click restore password of course an email has gone out but uh, out of the box this uh, uh the, the page triggers that email but it's it doesn't have the functionality to go somewhere else let's say to the login screen or whatever it is uh kind of expected that when you use a page from the marketplace uh, would provide the layout functionality and you would need to do some extra work to kind of you know hook it in, into your application so this has triggered uh, an email uh, to be sent out to my account and for this let me switch to a different screen where i will uh, get that email so and bring it over here and we can take a look at what it looks like all right so this is the email that i have received and uh, the email is generated from the template that i have uh, demonstrated to you earlier whenever i click this link it opened it up on another screen but let me pass it on to here this is the page that opens up when i click that link in the email okay now this page is customizable it comes with every single application and you can customize it in UI Builder and I will show how you'll be able to deploy and then just give it your uh, brand identity and look and feel of your application. So this could literally match the rest of your application. And then the tr this is very traditional uh, setup here where I can uh, type in a new email. I'm sorry, I type in a new password click save so the password has been now updated and uh, uh, if I go back to my application 
back to login, I can log in with an updated password. Okay, a couple of things here. So first of all, uh, how do you customize the actual password change uh, page? Uh, this is going to be present in UI Builder. If you go into uh, move the mouse over here and then select the system container. So there are containers and pages. If you switch to the system container, one of the pages in that system container is going to be change password. This is the page that opened up when I clicked the link. You can modify this page, give it a completely different style, look and feel. And when you pop and you will need to republish the system container, republishing system container is done by clicking this icon. And then in here, you would just need to select the system directory under root web. Once you do it, then the page becomes live and is available for your application flow. So that's, that's one thing. Uh, second of all, as far as the customization of the email, we talked about it. Uh, and then lastly, what I wanted to mention is that if you go to messaging, select emails and then change the, uh, this uh, password recovery uh, template to become the active one, notice that in here it includes password. So in this case, a password is generated for the user. Uh, the user record is updated in the system and we send that the password by email to the user. It is completely up to you if you want to use that approach or use the one that is based with the link. There are two different choices available to you. And, and that's it. So uh, I hope that uh, makes it clear as far as how to do the password recovery for your application in Backendless. Thank you for watching this video and as always, happy codeless coding.